Tonight, we continue our coverage digging into the details surrounding the indictment of Falls County Sheriff Richard Skamen. We've obtained a copy of Skamen's bond condition signed off by District Judge Brian Russ. Fox 44's Kendall Green, he joins us live in the studio. Kendall, this document gives us an idea of the conditions prosecutors requested in Skamen's bond. Yeah, on the document, there are 15 conditions outlined by prosecutors for Skamen to follow, but only 10 were signed off by the 82nd District Judge Brian Rush Jr. And tonight, Falls County residents are a little more vocal about their perspectives regarding allegations against Sheriff Skamen. Falls County Sheriff Ricky Skamen's indictment stirring up conversation around town, and folks are less hesitant to share where they stand. You no, know, they're not right if we leave him in office, you know what I'm saying? He's just not right. I feel like, you know, he's the law, he feels like he can do what he wants which is overpowering, I guess. Somebody finally brought something out and, and, and is doing something about some of the things that have been happening in the county. Sheriff Skamen? We paid Sheriff Skamen a visit to get his side of things. We never got a response in our attempt to reach out. But Fox 44 obtained the details outlined in his bond condition. A few standout conditions. The document says Skamen cannot depart Falls County or the state of Texas without consent of a probation officer or the court. Skamen has to live in a county approved residence. He's also been ordered by the court to abstain from the use of alcoholic beverages, drugs, and narcotics, and submit urine, blood, breath, or saliva samples as requested. Skamen can have no contact, either in person or virtually, with the two alleged victims listed in the indictment, their children or family. District Judge Brian Rush Jr. denied the conditions requested by prosecutors to ban Skamen from using a marked police car, from performing any police functions, from possessing a firearm, and from being electronically monitored through GPS. Residents saying this week's developments have had a serious impact on their trust in those wearing the badge. Developments coming in every day surrounding this case. As big as election looms, one Falls County resident shares his thoughts on what positions this puts voters in come November. We'll get his take coming up at 930. In studio, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.